In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the MapPress plugin to add maps to your pages, posts, and even your WP listings listings. So here on our site, we're going to go to our dashboard to plugins, and we're going to select Add New so we can install the plugin. And we want MapPress, M-A-P-P-R-E-S-S. There we go, the MapPress Eagle Google, Google Maps. And install now. And we want to activate it. Okay, now once activated, if we go to our page editor, let's refresh this contact page here. and scroll down you'll see you have a new um, meta box here for map press if you don't see that go up to screen options and make sure it's checked to show that okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a map for our office location and put it here on our contact page so let's go back to map press we're going to create a new map And we're going to call this map our office. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we want to add the point of interest, and this is the address that we want the marker. Let's go up to our address here. And search. There we go. So this is what our map's going to look like. Now we can do some adjustments here for this map. Uh, the default is the road map. You can change that to a satellite map. And we also have a map marker here. We can customize that as well. I'm going to put this down here in the description and then for the title I'm going to put our office so you can customize that little map marker as well okay now once we've got that map the way we want it sometimes you have to drag it a little and get it centered that way the little map marker will show up okay there we go now we're going to save it. Okay, now once you save it, you'll now have a little map ID, which is one, with the name of your map. And we want to insert that into the post. So let's put, uh, we want to put that below our address here. So let's put our cursor there below the address and then click insert into post and you'll see now it put in map press map ID equals one which was the ID number of that map we just created so if we update this page now and let's go to our contact page which didn't have the map before we're going to refresh And we'll see now that we do have the, the map here with the map marker with our custom title we added. And it also gives you a link if you want to get directions. If someone wants to find your office, they can get directions to your office as well. So that's how you insert it into a page. Now suppose we want to put it into a, a, a WP listings listing. So we've got a listing here. I'm going to change tabs. Here's my listing. <clears throat> I'm going to refresh this so I can get that map press there. Okay, we're going to have to go to our map press settings. There we go, map press. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now under the basic settings it's normally only enabled for post and pages but because WP listings are a custom post type we need to enable it for our listings. So now that we've done that we're going to save those changes. Now let's go back to our listing and edit again. Uh, let's scroll down. There it is. We now have the map press. So <clears throat> we're going to add a map to our listing. Okay, let's create a new map. Call this my listing map. And then we'll add the address, which is go and there's our map marker I'm gonna move the address again down here and I'll give it a custom title like just reduced and save that and again you can have the default road map or you can do the satellite view you know, however you want to do that. And then select a size uh, to put in my listing. I'm going to leave it at 425 by 350, but you can select a larger or smaller size. I'm going to save that. Now, <clears throat> for the listing, you need to insert that map code Right here where it says enter map embed code. So let's go ahead and put our cursor there and insert into post. Let's see if it put it there or if it put it in the post. I uh, put it into the post. So let's go grab that. We don't want it there. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to paste it there in the field for the map embed code. Okay. Now let's save our listing. And let's view it. And you'll see now we've got our map here with the satellite view with our little map marker. And again, you can get directions too. And it will show up in the descriptions tab if you put it in that field. So when you put in your map embed code, make sure it's in that map embed code field so it will show up on the right tab. So this is how you add the maps to the listings and previously I showed you how to put it into pages and you can put them in post. Uh, and again, there's uh, some settings in MapPress. If we go to MapPress, um, you can have directions in line or no directions. Um, what kind of map controls you want. how you want that map aligned. If you want it automatically centered wherever you put it, you can change that to center. Whether you want a border or not, uh, the default color for the map. Um, <clears throat> open first point of interest. Now if you want that map marker to show up automatically with the map, you can check that. Okay, now if you're in a country that uses metric, you can change the directions unit as well. 
Uh, you can change the default map size. Right now I've got it set for 425 by 350, but maybe you want all your maps to be smaller or larger. You can set the default size. And then let's save our changes. Let's go back to our uh, listing and refresh. And you'll see now I checked that box to automatically show that map marker on the map so they don't have to click on it to get that. So if you've got some uh, description in there in the map marker that you want to add, something custom that you want to display as soon as the page or post is opened, uh, you can check that in the map press settings. So this is how you can add maps to uh, pages, posts, and even custom post types like listings.